When you think about March, what usually comes to mind? Spring weather, it doesn't get dark until 9 o'clock. Or how about this one, the start of NCAA March Madness? Well, MAD, Midwest Athletic Association of the Deaf, puts on their own madness every year as well. And in 2017, the Iowa School for the Deaf plays host to that tournament. The madness continues. Wow, this tournament has been March, so it's become a deaf March Madness thing. And a chance to reunite with old friends on the hardwood. It's a unique opportunity. It's a great place for um, people to get together. March 10th and 11th, the Iowa School for the Deaf hosts the annual MAD basketball tournament for men and women, a tradition in its 72nd year. Since the first tournament in 1946, we've grown a lot in our community here in the Midwest region. And every year we get a different, diverse group of people who are deaf, hard of hearing, play with us. MAD is a nonprofit alumni organization that represents institutions for the deaf from nine different states across the Midwest. <laughs> ISD graduate Kylie Peterson has played in the women's tournament for three years now. She says the event is something she looks forward to every year. The socialization opportunities that we get when we have deaf communities from other states get together from the Midwest is um, really nice. We get to see our old friends, we get to meet new people, so it's a cool opportunity. Barb Nacrelli, president of MAD, believes this tournament is beneficial for many reasons. It's important for our deaf athletic community to get, to, get, to get together, compete against each other because it's a rare opportunity. You're not able to participate in other tournaments at this level with the same level of communication. And that's a bigger challenge, but here you get a little bit more enjoyment out of it. It's a unique setting featuring a unique bond between strangers and friends. <laughs> Oh. The competition is fierce, but so too is the unspoken relationship with everyone involved. You have people that come in that you know are willing to learn sign language, and even the refs here um, have been learning some sign language while they've been refing our games, and so that's a fun opportunity to see that collaboration happen. There's no age restriction for those participating in MAD competitions, other than you have to have graduated from one of the region deaf institutions. Kylie Peterson says that after this tournament, her team will be heading to the national tournament in Washington, D.C. If you'd like to learn more about the Midwest Athletic Association for the Deaf, head over to their website at maad.org.